You voted and now Blocker News is available every Sunday prime time, 7 p.m. GMT minus 5. Prepared with much love to all worldwide art lovers. But first, let's think outside the block. Yayoi! I know we've made you wait for this, but now we have to bring you Helena Herzberg's review about Yayoi Kusama's exhibition at Gropius Bau in Germany. Here is her approach. A bouquet of love I saw in the universe is what Yayoi Kusama, one of the most important artists of our time, wants to share with us in her largest ever retrospective exhibition in Europe. Currently on show at Gropiusbau in Berlin, Germany, the 3,000 square meter space puts into chronological order an overview of more than 70 years of her artistic career. Become one with eternity, obliterate your personality, Become part of your environment, forget yourself, is the take-home message that authenticates Kusama's life work. Each room passes through a key period in her artistic development, starting with early ink, watercolor, and pastel works on paper, which were shown at her first ever solo show at the community center in her Japanese hometown, Matsumoto, to polka dot adorned soft sculptured covered surfaces known as accumulations, to her world-renowned immersive mirror infinity room installations, all the way to her most recent paintings, colorful and dazzling with a sense of acrylic flatness and muteness. The retrospective was realized through extensive art historical research based on texts, old photographs, and floor plans in order to reproduce her signature exhibitions. With Kusama's hand directly involved in selecting relevant works and shaping their presentation, her aesthetic style and psychological state take center stage. Alluding to her hallucinations that began at the age of 10, her earliest paintings in the 1950s were sprawled with so-called infinity nets. The repeated semicircular brushstrokes forming a lace-like pattern aimed to evoke the idea of endlessness or an expansion into infinity. Yayoi Kusama has described her obsession with repetitive shapes through her desire to self-obliterate replicating the light flashes and fields of dots and auras that bleed from her mind into her surroundings, the ceaseless application of the polka dot motif allows her to feel as though she can dissolve and become one with the surrounding environment. While living in the U.S. throughout the 60s, her immersive infinity mirror rooms amongst her fashion design, films, and other installations accelerated her popularity locally and in Europe, Encouraging visitors to enter rooms covered in polka dots and lined with mirrors created what seemed like a suspension of normal time and space. Doubling the human gaze, she invites you to tread into the space towards infinity. Art news critic Peta Shedal reacted to her peep show or endless love show, an infinity room with flashing lights and what resembles a honeycomb structure. He wrote, a depthless receding blaze of lights in the farthest distance, a shimmering Milky Way, plus a thousand or so reflections of your own face and that of the person at the other peephole. In 1973, Kusama moved back to Japan as her health began to deteriorate. An increase in hallucinatory episodes and a continual pattern of mental breakdowns pushed her to check into a psychiatric home in Tokyo. She lives and produces work there today. Yayoi Kusama, a retrospective, is a timeline that illustrates the performative dimension of her work while contextualizing her life. Speaking directly to the visitors of the Gropiosbau, she writes, To flash through time into death and then to live on forever, a paean to beautiful love for the glory of humankind, such is the highest aspiration of my art. More Sotheby's is coming fierce into Europe, opening a new headquarters in Cologne, Germany very soon, plus a private sale pop-up in Monaco. This one planned to open next month on July. In 2020, Sotheby's reported that 40% of its German bidders has never before transacted with the house and that the number of German clients buying works from its online sales tripled in the past year. According to the 2021 UBS 
global art market report, while Germany represents just 3% of the value share for global auction sales, its collectors account for half of the buyers at online fairs. It was second only to the US in that regard. The report also said that Germany accounts for 5% of the global share of billionaires, whose aggregate wealth saw an increase of 20% in 2020. Sotheby's is not the only auction house eyeing the region for further expansion. In November, Philips announced it was looking to grow its footprint as well. Now, Basquiat, but still Sotheby's. The untitled triptych is now the eighth most expensive Basquiat work sold at auction, sold for $37 million. A work by Jean-Michel Basquiat, featured behind the artist on the 1985 cover of the New York Times magazine, a story that confirmed the artist's stardom, sold at Sotheby's Hong Kong for 289 million Hong Kong dollars, which means 37.2 million US dollars with buyer's premiums on Thursday. The triptych painting, which depicts two figures, one painted fully black with teeth and intestines, exposed and another riding what appears to be a donkey. Sold during a live-streamed evening sale at Sotheby's Hong Kong curated by Taiwanese pop star Jai, Jai Chu. What do you say, do you like this piece? Well, that's kept to me. It calls me at some point, some area, some specific fiber, but not necessarily every single one of his pieces I have felt for them. In this case, I find this quite intriguing, but not felling for it. Don't forget, Blockheart is the local art portfolio that represents 40 Latin American artists, which 30 are from Peru. News from this side of the world, Peru. Last day of the drawing exhibition at John Harriman Gallery in Britannico Cultural Center. Located in Miraflores District, and it's up until June 30 by appointment only through their website. The Jose Tola Etchings Collection is now on exhibit in Lima, Peru. Un Museo Imaginario, or an imaginary museum, is open to the public in the Etchings Museum of the Peruvian North American Cultural Center, IPNA, located in La Molina, Lima, Peru. I remember every single time I got the chance to visit Dola at his orange house in Miraflores District, and I could easily lose track of time enjoying dozens of etchings that were hanging while walking the three stories. Between Damien Hirst, Dalí, Picasso, Warhol, Basquiat, I feel like floating to meet him. He started acquiring these on 2010 through auction houses and galleries abroad. And 400 graphic artworks from modern and contemporary iconic figures is what you'll be able to enjoy. This show is curated by Maria Eugenia Idia thanks to the support of Jose Tola de Havich Foundation. Let's see some images. Hola, un cordial saludo a todos y a todas. Mi nombre es Marigenia Illa y soy la curadora de la exposición Un Museo Imaginario, la colección de grabados de Jose Tola. Esta exposición, como su nombre lo dice, presenta una selección de la gran colección de grabados que tiene este artista y una de las claves quizá de esta muestra es tratar de eh, visibilizar la mirada de Jose Tola como, como curador. Estamos planteando una narrativa en la que vamos a poder ver aproximadamente un grupo de 50 artistas, entre ellos Jasper Jones, eh, Rock Lichtenstein, eh, está el mismo Picasso y otros artistas más que van a poder apreciar en esta muestra. La muestra Un Museo Imaginario, colección de grabados de José Tola, estará abierta en el Museo de Grabado de Lina desde el martes 22 de junio hasta el 8 de septiembre. El horario de atención es de martes a sábado de 10 a 6 de la tarde. Now, as you know me, I love to spoil you super well. So... On July 17, we are having a special guided visit by the IGNA team with a little surprise. So if in Lima, well, send us an email to confirm you as one of the lucky 12 Blockheart followers. My Blockheart YouTube subscribers, that's everything for this week's episode. So I'll see you next one with more news. And don't forget, find us on Artsy platform as Blockheart Gallery. Remember, if you're looking for Latin American art, this is the right place. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes. And what else? Of course, keep safe.
be a skeptic, question absolutely everything, and think outside the block.